Mark 9 Trotters out of the Trotters out of the Mark 9 area versus the Western Union Cairn. The officials this evening is Ian Lyman and our good friend. They're starting five for Trotters, number nine. Eight, if you would excuse me for not having the names for the players at this point in time, I expect to get them during the course of this commentary. However, we have Mark Knight Trotters in their white and queen. They would be defending the western basket and Kayon in their black and gold, they'll be defending the eastern basket. Ladies and gentlemen, stand by. It's destined to be a very exciting and thrilling encounter. As referee Ian is about to jump the ball. There goes the jump ball. The tap is won by Western Union Keon. The ball is inbounded to the point guard number six. The ball is handed over to Zenga Powell. Keon takes a shot, misses, rebound is won by number nine for Mac Knight Trotters. Trotters in the offense. The ball is intersected by Keon. Throwing to Matney Trotters. Inbounded. Trotters is on the offense. The ball is being knocked out of play by Keon. There is an official timeout as one of the players improperly dressed. The game is being resumed. Trotters is in the offense. A three pointer is taken by the number eight. Misses outside. Ball is rebound. Is inbounded now by Keon. Keon is on the offense. The point guard is coming down the center of the court. He dribbles. He passes to the man on the right flank. Keon is doing the guard. Keon is taking one out to dribbles. Penetrates and yes, the shot is good. So we are off to the races. Where well, it is, Kayon to Matney Trotter's name. A long three pointer statement by Matney Trotter's player misses. Rebound, fast outlet by Kayon and turnover. Stratters, yes, takes a shot and he to take a shot and it's good. Keon is back on the offense and they're doing some talking because they've seen no movement from the Keon on the offensive end and the point guard is bickering that they need to open up the court. Uh, that was a real fast and furious. Offensive attack there by the Mackney Trotters. The score is two. Trotters two. K on two. We had a big three. We had a long three point shot by a Trotters player. Mackney Trotters five. K on two. We got eight minutes in the first quarter to play. Number 15 for Cam. Take one or two bounce. Pulls up right in the paint. And it's good. It's four. Plane five. Cam four. Trotters five. Trotters is on the offense. Passes the ball to the big man who pick who collects it at the top of the circle. Turns. Shoots. Misses. Cam on the, on the attack. Big, nice, fast break. Beautiful break that was. But the Cam player misses the shot. Then Trotters win the rebound. The bye bye heads up the court. Number 
five, Powell for Keon was tagged with a with a, um, a blocking foul. So Trotters is on the offensive set again. The ball is being passed around the horn. And the number eight player for Trotters loses the handle. But number four he wins it. Takes one out to dribble, pass it to to his player on the right side. His player in the middle to the number eight. Seem to be a young, big, and talented player. Number six, I'm sorry. Makes it, takes the shot and makes it. That's uh, a nice pass from Kian. Good, nice, strong rebound in and back up. Didn't allow the ball to touch the court. Very good player. Six. Kian six, shot to seven with six minutes. 26 seconds to go in the first quarter. Trotters loses position. Kenyon wins. As the point guy comes on the middle, still looking a little concerned about this pacing and the position of his players. I think he was looking for his forward to maybe. Can make the inbound. The shot is taken by the number ten. Number ten for Kion. Misses. Shot is on the offense. Good give and good give and go ball there, right? Right, but I point in time. Trotters with another basket. Trotters nine, K on six. It was a three point taken there by the number numbers five. Dave Pont misses. Alright, number five, Pump Can playing the point. Passes the ball to number six, Caesar. Caesar pass it back to Pump. Pump takes his eye off the ball and oops, the ball went outside, out touch. Trotters. Uh, has possession right now. Number four, Trevor Roberts passes the ball to number 11. He takes a three and it's good. Number 11 this time is Hannah Basso. And the shot is good. Number six, Caesar for Kayan. With the ball, dribbles, pass it to Punt. Punt passes back to him. He takes, takes a strong move to the hoop and it's fouled. He will go to the free throw line. Two shots. Number six, Kobe Robala, Caesar. It's on the line for Keon. Shooting two. Number eight, Levi Fifield is right on the bench taking some final instructions from there, from the assistant coach. Season makes one out of two. Roberts take the ball in the offensive set for Trotters. Passes it to number eight, bye bye Fifield. Number, number eight passes to number six. Number six bite back to my bye bye. Take a shot off the glass, misses. Rebound by number six for Trotters. Atumba, Atumba Williams, who is foul, so he's heading to the future line. Number six, Trotters. Atumba Williams, see on the future line. He's, he's taking two features. Up goes the first one, it rattles around and it's good. 14, 
out of seven KL. Four minutes and 35 seconds to go. Seconds to go. Tumba with another free throw. He misses badly. He didn't even hit the, 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 the backboard. It's an air ball. It's an inbound to Keon. Keon is taking it to the side. It's inbounded by number 15. Try Watley. Watley inbound to number 5. Tail. Zenga Panto passes to number 6. Corey Caesar the Keon loses the ball. It's a turnover. Matlin Trap is on the move. Five long threes taken by Trevor Marliga Roberts misses but Trotters wins the rebound so they're back on the offensive set. Roberts at the point passes the ball to number eight. Bye bye five here. Bye bye was hounded by the number six for Cairn so he passes the ball up. The ball rotates and went straight back to bye bye who takes a three point shot and misses. He's, he's asking the referee about the foul, but Trotters win the rebound and up went to lay up for two more points. But, uh, it, it seemed to be Trotters is very much in control of their game tonight. And, and there we go. As while, I, while I talk about that, of the control, there goes the steal made by Trotters. Bye bye. Zenga tried to. A very, a very poor and, and lazy pass in the middle and he was picked off by bye bye and they were off to the races Zenga in turn turned around and foul bye bye so he's now on the free throw line we have some substitution here um, Zenga is coming out for the number Zenga and the number 14 uh, they're out They were replaced by I'm gonna get I'm gonna get the name and numbers for you. They were replaced by the number three. Taluk K. Wow. That was a soft ball and the Trotters managed to take that soft stuff out of my paint. It was blocked and Trotters were off to the races. The layup was the ball was stuck between the rim and the backboard, so possession still belong to Trotters there. Bye bye to Maliga. Maliga back to bye 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 into the number six. To the number six, the Tumba. Tumba then passes the ball to number nine. Number nine, Kim Alive, who was fouled. He's heading for the future line. Ah, no, I'm sorry, it's, um, it's foul on the floor. So there's an inbound for Trotters right under the basket. Ball is inbounded to number four, Maliga. Roberts. Stolen by ball is stolen by the Keon player who takes a shot, misses Shratters. We got two minutes forty seven seconds to go. Keon has been stuck on seven for a very, very long time. It's a very low scoring quarter. It's Keon seven, Trotters 17, a 10 point lead for the Batman Trotters, which I think is, has been looked the better team this evening and, and, and the showing is very good. Spurts are very good uh, periods in their game. We have an official timeout at this point. Where referee Ian is at the official desk, is been given or has been given some instructions. Um, that part is taken care of, and we have the resumption of the game. Count with the with the ball. Corey Caesar takes the ball and the paint at the last minute dishes it to the number 14. White was he loses it. Trotters one to the hot races. There they go, another two more basket. Another two more points. One basket, two more points. And he's making some real close entry passes. And I don't think the players are up to the up for that right now. Okay.
Okay, we, we continue here at Basketball City between the game between Mac Knight, Berger, Berger Mac Knight, Trotters, and the Western Union Count. Um, uh, as Trotters turn over the ball, Count is now on the attack. Shot taken by the number three. Number she, number three, Taluk K, a three pointer and it's good to count. Finally gets off number seven, the 10. Trotters 18 with a minute 15 seconds to go in the first quarter. Bassi with the ball, he takes one out to dribble, he passes it to the number six. Williams and he's foul, and the basket is good. So it's a hard three point shot, hard three points. Basket is good and he heads to the future line. He's gonna have one shot. One more shot. Offensive and they seem to be taking a lot of time off the off, off the clock. And it paid it paid dividend for them at this at that point because number twelve Isaac Chamone Isaac makes a very good basket. It was a difficult shot. He was fading away in the paint as he tried not to be blocked and that was a very good shot at the end. Caesar is on the attack for Cal. He takes a bounce here, takes another bounce there. He misses and by now the offense head on to the other end and he's run over there by or run on the by number three for Cal and Taluke. Taluke picks up a foul. We were having a substitution by Kellen, number seven. Dale Rochester was being sent in the game, but he was entering the game with his turban on. He's a Rastafari. The official told him that he would not be allowed to play the right game of basketball with a headwear. Very much in the rules and regulations of FIFA basketball, so he had to be placed back on the bench. So the game continues with Cam on the attack. Still 12 22 down 10. We've got one second on the quarter. There goes Cam 12. Not Night Schwartz 22. We're into the second quarter of the very exciting game between Cam. Western Union Keon and Berger, Magnet Trotters. We finally get the entry of the number seven. It's affectionately known as Dale Rochester, aka the Bubba Drill. Alright, we had a turnover there by Keon, so Trotters is with the ball now. We also had a substitution of number five. Number five for the Magnet Trotters, Brian Benjamin, is also in the game. So on the floor for Trotters we have number eight. Levi by by five feet. Number six, Atumba Williams. Number five, Brian Benjamin. Number nine, Kimo Leibert. And number eleven, Hamila Basso. That's the starting five for Tr Magnet Trotters in the second quarter. For Keon, we have the number six, Corey Caesar. Number three, Taluk K. Number seven, Dale Rochester. Uh, number 12, Jamon Isaac. And the number 14, White Buzz. Keon, while I read the starters for the second quarter, Keon. The bus, the basket. Keon was able to stop Trotters at that time and after the races and Kobe sees it with another basket. 
So the game is getting a little more exciting. It's KO 16, Trotter Strata. The start of the second quarter. As I speak, we are now getting another substitution for the Matman Trotters. Number 14, Jarvis Colonel is going into the game. Trotters in another turn over there. Yeah, very sloppy at the start of this second quarter. They have protected the ball very nicely in the first quarter. But this time they have been very, very tardy. Uh, when I speak, uh, the big rebound by number 14, White Boss for Count. So Count is getting very much back in the game. It's Count 18, Trotters 22. Bye bye is now taking possession of the game of all the game set. He is at the point at this point. He's bouncing, passing, passes the ball to Hamil Basso who takes him to the hoop. Strong and too wide. Hamil is one of the young, upcoming, bright prospect of basketballers in this country. As I speak, I think he's doing. I think he's on a basketball scholarship in the states. Oh, a very good ball there by the number seven. So give and go. He was on the baseline as a number 12 cuts to the basket and he dishes it very nicely, very timely. And then makes a shot. As, as Trotters try to do the same similar thing on, the, on their end. But they weren't su that successful as Keon. They miss his, they miss the shot. And Keon gets the rebound. Wow, it's a big block. Number six for Trotters, Atumba William swats the number 12 Isaac Jamun shot out of air. There is a timeout now for Trotters, a timeout. Okay, count, that's the ball, uh, inbounded. Corey Caesar is at the point, he's looking at the defense. Trying to sum up the defense, see what they give him so he can try to penetrate. Dishes out to the man on the left point. The rebound is won by the Rochester. He takes a shot, misses, and it's, the ball is tipped out by the Cameron player. So, tipped out by the number 12 for Cameron Isaac. Inbound. And now they're on their fence. Basso with a three point shot misses. Rebound by the number 12, Keon Isaac Jamon. We have Corey. Fast and furious play. Keon went on the attack. The ball was blocked. Trotters win the ball and head up the court. Make a shot. Two more points. Go Trotters. It's Keon 20. Trotters 26. It's, it's a very, very good game now. Game is very good. And we had number six for Keon. Penetrating to the to to the Trotters defense and he was fouled by the number fouled by the number six for Trotters. Number twelve, Isaac Jamoni. It's been substituted and substituted and in come Dave Zingapont. Keon inbounds by Dale Rochester. Inbound to Pont Pont to number three who He's now picked up the point, the point position. And he gives one up to dribble and loses the ball as, as the ball is being picked off by Punt. Keon okay, got the hand on the ball, but Trotters won it back. And we have a travel there on the number five. Brian Benjamin for Trotters travel and turn the ball back over to um, Hamil, Ham, Hamil Bass who's been substituted for Trotters. He's being replaced at this point by the number 15. Number 15, Ikins Williams. Ikins Williams. Okay, 
on a lift. Ball is being handled by the, the number six. Corey Caesar has a nice pass to Taylor Chester on the baseline. Takes a nice, easy, soft jumper for two. 22-26. Kayon. Number 15, I Kings. William take a shot, misses. And the ball has been won by Kayon. Pantu took a shot, misses. Kayon wins the rebound. Pant again is pulling up for three. This time the ball hits the rim. Rolls around. Rebound is won by. Rebound is won by number nine. For Trotters, keep alive, but he's penalized for traveling. for traveling we have a techni technical foul and number nine came alive on for trotter so Keon is getting some free points here as the game is becoming real close the game is becoming real close it's shots um, Corey sees and misses the first one up goes the second one is good 25 26 trotters one point lead that's a more substitution count is making a substitution number nine chemo Leibert comes out for the number 12 number 12 I don't see a name for a number. I don't see a number 12 here on the Trotters list, but the number 12 has checked in the game. With 4 minutes 7 seconds to go, Keon 25, Trotters 26. Keon has the ball right now, as so slowly into the offense. Really take stock of their game and it's playing a much better quarter. I uh, would like to see if they continue this right down to the stretch, but they've been very, very patient with the offensive set now, which is very good for the game. Um, while I try to see how beautiful Cal has been playing, the turn over the ball and Trotters takes a shot, misses, singles on the attack with the ball. The ball was stolen by bye bye. Bye bye head for the net for the basket. He misses his layup. Count with the ball again. Very slowly into the offense again as Caesar brings the ball over the half court. He looks again to see what the defense is offering him. And get one pass. Oh, what a, oh, it's a beautiful play. Uh, very, very nice as Keon brings the ball very slowly and it looks like they're sending the Trotters team. They're lulling them to sleep. And while they sleep, Keon go to work get to the basket. And number five, Brian Benjamin takes a, a horrid shot, misses. Came out with a quick outlet, but the ball was too, was too big for for the, the runner to make a decent shot. So he pulls back the ball out and they start it. Dale Chester again. You shout your hands for Dale Chester. Bubba Dread, as they are called. He's having a good stint since he's been introduced since he's been introduced into the game. He's having a good good stint. 
We have a foul here by number 15 for the Mark Knight Shorter, Zykins winning. Uh, Caesar was making his way to the hoop. He was bumped by number 15 for Charter Zykins Williams. So, number six, Corey Caesar is heading to the. Uh, no, it was a foul on the floor. It's a non shooting foul. So, they were Chester inbounding the ball to the number three who comes across the lane, takes a shot. Taluke came up. Came across the shot, misses. The ball is picked off by picked off by Zenga Powellers from the Matney Trotters, Burge Matney Trotters. The ball was last touched by Trotters, and so Keon keeps possession of the ball. so many things happening the score we have lost a little faith in the score at this point we have count 31 and Matt Nightshot is 30 so count has gone in the lead for the very first time I lost track of that the game is so beautifully played on the court as count slows the game down and they're really making good possession with the ball now and getting good shot as we see Punt for three misses. Big rebound by Rochester. Rochester up, loses the ball, out of out out of touch. Inbound to Trotters. Trotters inbound number twelve. You know I mean he's inbound into number ten. Dario Penifeda. Dario Penifeda comes across the half line, passes the ball to Brian Benjamin, who takes the eye of his ball and whoops, the ball went out of touch. Very sloppy. Trotters is very, very sloppy this in this quarter, generally speaking. They have relinquished um, up to a 10 point lead or 12, if I remember correctly. And now they are back in the lead, though, at one point with 14 seconds to go in this half. Trotters 32, Keon 31. Keon is trying to make sure they get the last shot. Or maybe not it's 34 seconds so it's quite a lot of time in the game and Zenga is being blocked there by the Trotters man um, still have possession of the ball with yeah we have a shot clock violation there I did hear the referee shout 10 Keon took a shot he didn't touch the rim in fact the shot was blocked and I believe they lost count but Trotters at the ball, the last 14 seconds to go. They race down the court. The number five. Now the number 15, I'm sorry, Akin's winning. Took a shot, and that's the end of the first half, ladies and gentlemen. It's K131, Matney Trotters, Burge Matney Trotters, 34. At the end of the first quarter, at the end of the first half, yet basketball today. Good evening, good evening, um, listening audience. Uh, this evening game we have Keon Lions uh, versus Trotters, and um, the second half has has just begun. Um, beautiful shot there by number four um, for Trotters, um, Trevor Roberts. Uh, we have Keon um, um, 
bouncing the ball and going towards the hoop. Lock shot. Lock shot there by big number six for Charters. Um, Tambi. Tambi. Tambo, actually. Tambo, number six for Charters. Uh, lock shot. One of the favorites, we have um, Bobo, uh, number seven for Kayon. Uh, that's one of the Bobo Jets coming out of um, Phillips's Dale Rochester. Um, movement of the ball by Charters. Miss shot there by number six, Robert. Uh, ball going the opposite direction. Kayon ball. Score is 38 31 in favor of Charters. Movement. The ball passing around. Good turnaround jump shot uh, by Kayon. Uh, number 15 for Kayon. That's Watley. Uh, movement of the ball again. We have Charters. Wonderful move. Moving away from the block, uh, number nine for uh, Charters. Okay, there was an attempt there by uh, Kayon. A fast break attempt blocked. And we have a jump shot by number six, missed. Fans are, are crying over the back. Fast break now by Charters. Uh, Robert grabbing a very uh, good, uh, good pass by number 11. Ah, loose ball. Loose ball to Roberts. Shot to Roberts, number four. Um, Kayon Charters. So welcome again to the Digital uh, National Bank uh, sponsored uh, SCABA um, League 2007. Uh, missed pass there by Kayon. And turnover by number four, Robert. Uh, number six for Kayon. We have Corey. Uh, that, sh that should be a flagrant foul. That, that should be a three shots on the ball to the side. Yeah, that should be a breakaway. Uh, Bye-bye. Uh, one of the superstars of Scabba. Uh, hopefully can live up to potential and win a championship this year uh, for his um, community. Very good player. Um, not one to want the final shot of the game. Uh, but hopefully he will be that person to take that last shot because he is capable so we have bye bye moving towards the basket towards Kayon um, trying to uh, get away from the block and he did uh, loose ball uh, bye bye again getting that loose ball uh, that's a three point attempt by uh, Charles Miss number nine wonderful move to the basket there by number 15 for Kayon that's Mr. Watley so we have a nice crowd here at um, Scaba Basketball City. Uh, we're looking at some uh, seven, eight thousand people uh, here. And beautiful uh, layup there by number eleven for Charters um, Hamel Basu. Uh, we have about at least four or five Basus playing here in the league. Uh, as you know, the Basu family is a very large family and one that um, produces some of the best uh, sports individuals here in Saint Kitts. Miss Miss Basket from um, Kayon. Charters are blocking, that should be a blocking foul. But anyway, it's a, it's a loose ball to the side um, for Charters. Again, the score is 44-35 in favor of Charters. Nice move, but missed shot. Charters ball. The crowd is very quiet. Um, um, I can see the scores. We have uh, Vanny, we have Mal. Uh, Doggins. And, and Malisha? Nana, you're Mal. So we have the scores. Uh, we just want to say good evening to everyone again. Uh, ball to the side by um, Charters. Going towards the basket, Tambo. Locking foul. Uh, and I, I started to just name out these scores. Again, we have Javel, we have Vanny, we have Joy, we have Duggins. Joy, I think her name is. Edley. Edley. And we have Matt. So um, we got to. You know, thank the scores because they have been doing a wonderful job this evening, um, scoring um, all of the games. 
Now we have Tambo at the basket. Ah, Tambo, not known to be a very good um, fish shot shooter, and he made that one. So, uh, congratulations to him. So we have Corey at the ball, bouncing the point guard. I think he bounced a little bit too much sometimes. Um, very good pass. To the basket. Foul by Tambo on number three for Keon. Taluk, I think his name is. Taluk, Q. I, I, the coach just came to the to the uh, scores table to find out um, his his um, the foul for Tambo, which is his 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 blocker, very good blocker and rebounder. So he wanted to make sure that he did not have uh, was not in foul trouble. So we have Tambo. Number nine. The foul is on number nine. So, Kimo. Foul on Kimo. All right. So we have Bye Bye bringing on the ball for Charles, passing over to number four. Number four passing back to uh, Bye Bye. Tambo in the middle calling for the ball, but number eight gets number nine gets it um, for Charles, which is Kimo Live. Jump ball. Jump ball. Jump ball. Jump ball. Number nine for Charles and number three for. Okay, I thought that was a job. Guy coming down. Hopefully he can cross over. Ooh, smooth, smooth, smooth as butter. So we have Bye Bye making his, his usual shots. Um, those are his, his type of game. Uh, fast break and taking him onto the basket and making an easy shot. We have Corey again. Uh, directing play for Keon. Passing over to number 15, Watley. Uh, number three takes a three-point shot, misses, but Watley takes the rebound and puts it back up um, for number two, for two, for two points. Scores move to 48-39. 48-39, miss, miss shot. K on board. Okay, so we have the game back, back, um, starting back over. We have the bubble is back on the court. Corey with a, I don't know what he tried, but he got the rebound anyway, and he puts it back up. Foul on number 14 off the ball, actually. Off the ball foul for Chatters, which is Javis Kernan. Javis Kernan. 14. 14. 14. So we have Corey at the line. Um, again, this evening we have referee Ian. We have referees for this evening games. Uh, for this evening game is our uh, ah sorry uh, Ian Liber, and we have uh, Grayson, a, a, a new referee. Um, um, here uh, working I think at central bank they said Bubba, Bubba Jet has the ball now and he's going fast break ah smooth play by Bubba Jet and the crowd is shouting crowd is shopping for the Bubba Jet passes to Keon passes the ball around back to Corey number 15 Watley back to 15 back to the Bubba Jet Bubba Jet goes to the basket ah and try to give one of those fancy Bye bye tight plays and misses. Good rebound by Tambo. Basu gets the ball. Foul. Corey. Foul on Basu. Number 
Sorry, number three. Foul on number three. Basu has the ball. Over to number 14. Uh, a young squad. Uh, um, Chodas has a young squad on the team. What num passes the ball and throws it away. Uh, turnover. Chaos. Again, this evening game um, has been very keen, keenly contested by both teams. Uh, we have Chatters starting off very quickly and then um, through the intervention of the Boba Jed, um, Keon came back by, um, from some 15 points um, down. And so we have Keon with the ball, moving the ball, moving the ball around over to number 15 to the Boba Jed. Boba Jed shooting, misses again. Fast break, Chatters. Basu has the ball. Foul. Foul on Basu. Seven. Yes, foul on the bubble jet. Foul, bubble jet foul, Basu. Which is Dale Worcester. First shot has been missed. Again, I wanted to recognize the scorers. This evening's scorers are Vanessa, uh, Melissa Armal, uh, Jovel, Erdley, and Jovel, I'm sorry, Jovel, uh, Hitters Jr., and Joy. Erdley, Joy, Javel, Mal, and Vanessa. And this evening, referees are Ian and Grayson. Foul there on number six. Um, Corey will be going to the line. Foul, Basu. And the score is 49 43 in favor of Trotter. This game is the final game of a triple header at Scabba. Basso has the ball, passes over to Kimo. Corey passes the ball around, directing play. Over to the bubble jet, the bubble jet back to Corey. Corey, uh, number 15 for Keon passes the ball. Corey, shot by Corey. Foul. <laughs> I'm sorry, you have one of the fans there uh, questioning the coach's decision, but you know that's how it is. Fans are always um, some of the best coaches that would never attempt to coach. <laughs> <laughs> and just always want to give instructions. But you know, it's all good intentions. They um, just want to see the team win and you know, forever we'll be questioning the coaches. And so we have Keon have the ball and, and Corey's passing the ball around to his teammates over to the bubble jet, the bubble jet to number five. Uh, number five fake and goes back to uh, bubble jet, ends up having the ball, going towards the basket, passes out to number three. Uh, Watley has the ball, 
Oh, good shot. Missed shot, actually. Bassett. Shot by Bassett. Corey going out to the basket. Passes the ball. Steal by Bassett. Keon going the other way. Shot. Shot by number five. Tottenham has a very young team on the court. Um, number 10 has the ball. Shot by Campbell. Shot by Campbell. Fans, the fans are shouting for a shooter on the court, but as you can see, the young team is, is playing pretty well. Um, they're, they're, they're making some mistakes, but I think they're playing pretty well. They just need patience. Uh, just need to... So we have man down, timeout by the referee. Uh, ball on the sign for Keon. Over to... Uh, Bubba Jed, um, Rochester is his name, but we know him as the Bubba Jed that uh, goes around and selling um, uh, different things as part of his occupation. Um, so we have at the third quarter, we have uh, Challenge 56 and um, Keon 48. Um, again, this evening's game uh, is the final game of uh, Chipple Heather. And we have um, uh, the crowd is. is a very healthy crowd, as I said. Uh, some, I think I said uh, 3,000. That was my mistake. Uh, we have a, 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 a few hundred, uh, probably uh, two or three hundred, but it's a, it's a healthy crowd for a Sunday evening. Uh, many people have work in the morning, but you know they're still um, uh, giving their contribution by coming here to the game to uh, support basketball. So we do appreciate their support. Again, we have the uh, scorers. Vanessa, uh, Jovel, Mal, um, Erdly, you must excuse me, her name is kind of funny, Erdly, and Joy. Uh, so we are back for the final quarter. Uh, at the start of the fourth quarter, the score is 56-40. 56-40. This evening game has been recorded uh, by our camera person, Novella Springett, and we want to say thanks to her, uh, a friend of basketball and ones that support the, uh, the initiatives of the new executive of SCABA, and we really do appreciate her um, sponsoring her time and uh, effort to record our game. So we have the ball by Keon, he's passing around, um, goes back to number 15 for Keon, back to number 5 for Keon, he tries to shot and misses, the bubble jet tries to rebound but misses, Corey is there trying to rebound it, the bubble jet has it, turn around jumper, misses and the ball ends up in bye bye hand, bye bye goes down and layup, one of his fancy layups of course uh, going between three players. I think we're going to have a technical foul and number eight, bye bye. So we have the Bubba Jet shooting his first free throw, he misses. Number seven, which is Rochester, his correct name is. Um, Dale Rochester, and he shoots his second shot of the technical foul call. Hits it. Ball goes to the side for count. 49-58 in favor of Chattles. 49-58 in favor of Chattles. So you're in tune to the 2007 SCABA Sponsored League, um, sponsored by Digicel, um, our Premiership and First Division 
uh, sponsor and, uh, for 2007. So I want to say thanks to Digicel uh, for sponsoring the, the Premier and the A Division um, leagues. Blocking foul on number 23 for Trotters. Ball chosen, what they has the ball going towards the basket. Misses, rebound. Misses. Chatters has the ball. Ball. And we have one of one of the fans. <laughs> one of the fans who, do, <laughs> who is a competitor of uh, actually one of the competing teams. He plays for one of the competing teams. Um, Nito. <laughs> Bolly, he wants to try and direct a foreign team because he cannot direct his own team. Uh, Made to understand that he was thrown out of his team for um, misbehavior and he's shouting for his, his boy, Sugars, to get a game. But uh, the, the, this team has been. Uh, are controlled by uh, Sprouse and, and as we know Sprouse will not be intimidated to make a change by anyone and so he can say as much as he likes but I'm sure that um, Sprouse will not um, um, make a decision because he thinks that a, a decision is supposed to be made either way so we have K uh, Keon so he passing the ball around uh, tried missed shot, Bubba Jet has it pass Foul. Sorry. Foul. Foul on the side to Kay on ball. Hands up, hands up, bro. Kay on ball. Miss shot again by Kay on. Bye bye has the ball, going towards the basket. Misses but gets his own rebound. Chatter's turnover. Um, Keon has the ball coming down. Um, Corey, the point guard, is directing play as usual. Keon passing the ball around. That's an ill advice. Yeah, so we have um, it's Keon. Sorry, I'm, I'm being distracted by some of the fans. Um, we have the ball on the side by for Keon. Uh, Corey has the ball. Pass the ball over to number five. Number five goes in traffic and weave his way through. Excellent play. Two points for Keon. Score is now 51-58 in favor of Chatter. Chatter has not made a shot in the... Sorry, turnover. Um, Trotter's turnover. Uh, Bob Jed has the ball and tries a three. Misses. Misses. You can see his intention. But misses. Trotter's coming down. The young team. Zaba is sticking with his young. His young guns passing the ball around, they're being patient. Ill advised pass into the lane. Ill advised pass into the lane. Lucky to be able to get a foul. Foul on 14. Uh, Keon uh, chatters ball on the side. Number 11 passes the ball over to number 8. Bye bye. Bye bye is attempting to go to the basket but is, is, is not being allowed by 
number five. Basso has the ball, passes the ball to number 23. Number 23 almost, almost turned the ball over, but was able to get it back. So we have um, Chatty's ball again on the side. Okay, on ball the other way. Baba Jet is way out in front, but Corey did not see him. This is about his fourth three, three point attempt, and now he's making it number five for Kayon. Finally makes a three, 54 58 in favor of Chatters. Number 10 coming. We have Mr. Robert checking back in, number four for Chatters. Uh, Mr. Roberts. Iroy Roberts, number four. Number 23. Number 23. Throws away the ball. Number 23. Throws away the ball. Chatters appear as though they are throwing away their game. Or rather, Kaon is causing many turnovers by Chatters. <laughs> Either way. So we have Ken with the ball, Bubba Jet going to the basket, misses again. I think he is probably getting a little bit tired. And so there you go, Mr. Showman, bye bye. Unable to win a championship for the past 10 years, Mr. Showman himself. Bye bye. Good pass by the Bubba, good pass, but travel by number. The big block, Tambo is back into the game. Fifty-four sixty in favor of Chaka. So we have Robert taking the ball down, passing over to Bye Bye. Bye bye going towards the basket, stripped by number five. Jump ball, jump ball, jump ball. I don't know between who and who, but jump ball for sure. Let's see who. Oh. How come they ball? Yeah, so it was a jump ball, but due to the um, possession, um, um, the number of possessions, it happens to be K on ball. So if if how it works, I, I need to understand is that if it, there was a jump ball and um, the referees give, oh, you have to explain that to me. I need to explain it to the others when they look at. Okay, I started to attempt uh, to, uh, an explanation of the um, situation with the jump ball. What happened is they alternate jump balls, basically, and so it happens to be care ball. As simple as that. It was, it was just a matter of alternating jump balls. So we have Corey number six uh, bringing on the ball for Keon. Passes to number five. Misses another three-point attempt. This is probably his... This is probably his sixth or seventh attempt. I think he's probably two for eight in terms of cheap point attempt, but he's not stopping, which is good, as a, a shooter should never stop try, um, stop shooting, should always try to. So we have a, tour, a almost turnover by um, um, Trotters, but Trotters end up making the ball. Tambo, number six. Timeout, Keon. 64-54 in favor of Trotters. Again, this uh, premiership game, and the Premier um, Division is being sponsored by Digicel, our proud sponsor. Saying how proud we are to have Digicel as our sponsor. Uh, and if you want more, you're definitely getting more here at Scabo between um, Chatters and uh, Kayon. And so Digicel, our sponsor, again, we just want to say thanks um, for sponsoring the 
Premier Division and the A Division uh, games. We have Ian Referee explaining something to his scores table, uh, making sure that they understand what has happened over the past um, three, uh, four possessions. And so we have. Javel, what are you really doing? Number nine, number nine for Chatters is, is actually fouled out. Um, number nine for Chatters has been fouled out. So we have the showman, Mr. Bye Bye, after sitting on the bench, was able to come in and make um, some dazzling move to the basket. The bubble jet passing out to number five, attempting again a number a three point attempt and misses. He must try again, he must continue to shoot. Good shot there by number 15. Keon still trying to um, keep themselves in the game. They are down by 8 points and still trying. They need a defensive stop here with 3 minutes and 15 seconds to go in the game. Bye-bye uh, has the ball. Trying to make it a one-on-one -on -one game. Misses, passes over to number, number 14. Foul on Tambo. Fall on Tambo. Uh, number two on Tambo. Uh, uh, uh. Number two on Tambo. Three fouls on Tambo. Um, three minutes, two seconds to go. Charter 64. Keon 56. I got big up everybody. Yeah? I just want to say thanks to um, Jocelyn Daniels for um, doing the first half of the game. He did a pretty nice job um, uh, commentating as we are trying to improvise and to um, see how we can change uh, doing a few things here at Scabbard. So we have Mr. Robert Try is, is IY is, is trying to preach to his team to slow down the game. But he almost turned over the ball. But that's how it goes sometimes. Foul. Chloe. Chloe foul. Hey, hey. Hey. Chatter's ball. Chatter's ball. Basso, we have Basso going towards the, the basket. Ah, oh, fake by Basso. Good fake. Miss shot. Miss shot by Basso. Fake and misses. Bye bye is, is applauding his, his young teammate uh, as a veteran should do, encourage the youngsters. That's what the line. Second shot miss, Corey takes the rebound. Two minutes, 19 seconds, 65, 56. Corey going towards the basket and passing out. Number five misses, get, get his own rebound and, and put it back in. So Keon is now, Keon is now chopping, turn over. 
I think the coach, the coach just got a little disgusted <laughs> because it was a three seconds <laughs> violation. Bobo Jen was ball watching just now and so he, he got caught in the, in the lane uh, for three seconds. Okay, we have a misunderstanding in the, in the camp of uh, trotters. The coaches are trying to give instructions. Uh, uh, Robert is trying to impress his young players to listen and to uh, stop playing so so casual. Uh, so there's a, a little heated um, instruction being given by uh, Mr. Roberts. So we have a full court press, five second violation, turnover, Chatter's turnover after holding, not being able to do the ball in court for five seconds. Um, Keon has the ball. Good shot there by Keon number 14. Ball passed over to Roberts. Robert has the ball. Turnover by Roberts. Turnover. 60 65. 60 65 in favor of Chatters. And I think the game is slipping away a bit from Chatters. If Keon was able to hit a, a, a number of the cheap pointers, it, it would have been different. Bob Jett has the ball and looking for someone to pass. A beautiful pass into the middle. Beautiful pass by Bobby Jed. 62-65. Three points lead. The, court, the full court presses on now. Ah, Roberts. Roberts was able to get out. Passes the ball on the wing. Travel, I think. No shot. Zaba. 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 Change to the 14. Number 14 coming off and Chatters needs to settle down and get themselves uh, organized so that they don't throw away their game. But Keon in return needs to just keep doing what they're doing and not turn over the ball as they just did. But thank God Chatters is able to turn it over again. Chatters is able to turn it over again. And so uh, Coach Tai is uh, shouting instructions to Bubba Jed. Uh, Corey passes over to number five. Foul on Chatters. Foul on Roberts. Reaching foul. Reaching foul. So number five is going to the line for Kayon. And he could bring this to 64, 65 if he makes his two points. So Coach, Chai, Coach, Coach Tai uh, O'Loughlin brought his team together uh, and, ho and giving them some instructions for the final um, 58 seconds so that he can uh, make a, a, a good attempt at um, hopefully bringing the game in more of his favor. Uh, into his favor because not in his favor actually, it's in Chata's favor. So number five misses his first shot. And Ty is still giving instructions, tell him to calm down. Good rebound, oh, good lap, and the foul, and the foul. 62, 60, 64, 65 in favor of Charters. And Keon is at the line, number 14 is at the line, and could make this 65 all, could actually make this 65 all. Four fouls on. Misses. He misses, he misses, and the bubble jet, jump ball, jump ball, the bubble jet, the bubble jet, the bubble jet, um, stuff came off, he has to put back on his, um, his cape, he cannot play without his cape, without his, his head tie, so he's, He's, he's turned it back on. Uh, so he was replaced by number 12. 
Um, so the score is 64-65. He missed. Keon missed his his feature that would have brought the game that would have brought the game even 65-65 and so we have bye bye going to the line to try and extend his team's um, lead 66-64 charters bye bye at the line Three point lead, 67 64. Three point lead. Corey has the ball. Tambo, Tambo is fouled out. Tambo is fouled out. Number 14 is going back in. Sixty-five, sixty-seven, sixty-five in favor of Charter. Bobo Jet is back in. Bye bye must take his team on his shoulders and control the ball. And number five foul number five, 66, 67. Five, he's fouled out. Number five is fouled out. So Roberts is going to the line to extend his team's lead, 67-66. 39 seconds left in the game. Chatter's ball. Chatter's ball. Chatter's ball. Chatter's ball again. Chatter's ball again. Big block by the bubble jet. <laughs> Big block by the bubble jet. <laughs> Big defensive play by the bubble jet. 69-66. 69-66. 10 seconds left in the game. Chatter's ball. Foul. Time out, Cam. Number 23 is on the line for Charters. First feature. 
misses. First feature miss. Nine seconds left on the game. 90, 69, 66. 69, 66. Nine seconds left. Chotters is number 23 is on the feature line. 70-66, 70-66. Almost a four-point play. Almost a four-point play for uh, Kayon. Instead, they're going to shoot three. Instead, they're going to shoot three. Bye bye. The ever show man. He's talking about the camera is on him. So. Five seconds left. 70 66. I think Koi tried to um, to miss the feature so that his team can have an attempt at getting the rebound and therefore um, getting a shot at the basket. Foul. Uh, Foul by Keon. I think the game is just about over three seconds left. 70-66 um, in favor of Charter. 70-66. And the crowd is, is now leaving the pack after watching what was a very interesting game. Roberts miss his future. First one. So we final final score. 70-66, 70-66 in favor of Chatters. Yeah, so we're gonna have. Yeah. So we're gonna have um, just a few words from um, both coaches um, to give their comments on the game. Uh, Coach Tai. Um, Good evening. You're 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 here with um, Scabbers Television crew, um, Ibel, and we're here with the coach of Kayan. Ty, at, at the last the last um, 30 seconds, your team actually had a, a shot of winning the game. Or what, what, did you have any specific instructions for them? Well, I, I tell them we are go and give up everything, every loose ball that I get them fight. You, know, you have to solve every good of the skin, just do that and go and play hard defense. Give up everything and just press them after every shot. I want to I want to say from from Scabber that you're you're actually doing a very good job. You're you're really trying to keep the basketball in in Kian alive. However, um, again back to the last 30 seconds, um, was it was it intentional to have uh, number five keep shooting the trees? Was that instructions given to him? Because I think your your main player was the bubble jet who was making some very good shots, and maybe you you should have gone to him if that was your instruction. Well, well that, that was the instruction. The instruction was to get down to the big man them. But probably when he get the ball, he sees himself open, so I, um, he just take the shot and he, he put them really, but I attacked him and he went back down and we went down to the big man and we come back into the game. Okay, thank you very much, Ty, for um, having this short interview. We really appreciate it. All right. Zaba! Good evening, coach. Um, you're here with Scabbo, um Television. Look at the camera, boy. Yeah, yeah. You're here with Scabbo Television. Um, this is your first win of the season, right? Yeah, the first win of the season. Well, tell the truth. 
it was tight. Yeah, I, 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 I'm, I'm very impressed with the fact that you are not one of the coaches that, that um, allow the spectators to dictate what you should do from what you should not do. Um, is, is that will that be continuing? Oh sure. The man behind the fence. Uh, oh, tell me players don't, don't study nobody behind the fence. On two man they put the story on the coach. It is system coach and me. Left the spectators and behind to say anything they want. But during down the game, I'm a lot of people say, oh, I got on the team and can't score. But time deal. People you know the game in a game I'm looking for. I'm looking for defense. The team got a lot of shooters. Everybody can see we got the best offensive shooter. But we have no defense at all. Right. We only play D for five minutes. Right. In the last in the last 30 seconds, you, your, your team almost almost lost the game. Maybe the last 45 seconds. I, I noticed you were giving instructions. What instructions were you giving them at, at the last uh, 45 seconds? All I was telling them, slow the game. Everybody in full trouble. I have my two best feature shooter on the court. Want to try the ball or want to rebound? They try it easy, they must foul. We break the chop corner, we shoot, we go back up and play defense. But you know, all them rushing to go home, all them want to get the ball out of hand. Nobody want to make no kind of mistake at all. That's the problem. Okay, um, I wanted to recognize that you, at some point in the game, you were playing a very young team. Um, Basu and, and some of the other guys. Um, um, I can't and so forth. Is, is that something you're trying to develop? A young team for Tottenham? Well, yeah, because most of the fellas, them, they're done in the 30s or 35. And you know, Chattos ain't got a lot of youngsters down the area. Where we get also a map night, I got to blend the team with the old stars, them. That we're trying to tell the young one them, just come, the turn and come and get game. They can't get game. Tonight, a lot of men cost me. Because they ain't getting a game tonight. But the game was so tight. I can't play everybody. I, right. I appreciate that. Um, one last thing, Your, the, the spectators was wondering if, if that was an a, a import assistant coach that you brought in. Yes, yes, yes. From, that means from, from Holland? No, no, he's from, from Sister Island, Nevis, from oh, Nevis. Okay. Yeah, he played for Nevis national team. Your boys and, opened the call of Matty and Babylon and those boys was wondering if that's a, a coach you brought in from maybe no, no, Yugoslavia from or something. No, no, he's from Old Water, he's from Old Water, okay. Sister okay. Island. All right, thank, thank you, you very Nevis much Gallo, for this interview. All right. All right. So there you have it, um, the interview of the two coaches um, from um, each team uh, giving their opinion. And, and thank you very much for watching Scabbers Television um, with um, Novella Springate on the camera.